Let's just say hunting him doesn't end well for the hunter. Welcome to another Dragonlance Saga episode. My name is Adam, and today we're going to talk about Cronin Thistlenaut, the Kender Barbarian. I'd like to take a moment and thank the DL Saga members and invite you to consider becoming a member by visiting the link in the description below. You can even pick up Dragonlance gaming materials using my affiliate links. I am referencing the annotated chronicles, the novel Lord Tota, and the War of the Lance sourcebook for this information. If I leave anything out or misspeak, please leave a comment below. When we are speaking of influential or memorable Kender, let's be honest, the list is pretty short. There are the Kender who seem to be clones of Tasselhoff Burfoot, then there are the one-off wild ones like Nightshade. But in the vast world of Kryn, there must be more Kender of legend. Uncle Trapspringer seems to be the most influential Kender of all time, simply due to how many claim to be part of his family and celebrate his exploits. But I would hazard a guess... Only some of you know of Cronin Thistlenaut. Now here is a Kender who did some truly amazing things. Cronin Thistlenaut comes from a small town in Hilo called Legup. The town's inhabitants are known to be a bit more antagonistic in their dispositions, and Cronin shares this trait in spades. Some Kender in the region claim ogre or mountain dwarf blood flows in their veins, but you know Kender and their wild tales. Cronin has a rugged and regal bearing. He is unlike most Kender in every way. He has a strong and straight stature, standing taller than most Kender, and rather than wearing a topknot, he cuts his minnow-silver hair short. His piercing blue eyes are arresting when they are fixed on you, and his scarred ear due to an encounter with an ogre from Kern speaks to his tenacity and persistence in battle. He is a husband and father of Paxina Thistlenaut, Cronin Allen Thistlenaut, and Tewin Cronensdow. Being a father myself, I can only imagine parenthood forced him to develop his mellow ability to relax and truly consider a situation before reacting, truly atypical behavior traits amongst Kender. While visiting distant relatives in Kendermore with his family, the Black Wing of the Dragon Army invaded. Seeing as there was no central leader in Kendermore to square off against the invaders, Cronin stepped up and talked, coerced, and bribed the other Kender, serving as a resistance leader for them against the Black Wing of the Dragon Army. Cronin centralized the resistance power from all the disparate groups and consistently and successfully struck back against the Black Wing. For his military leadership and strategy, the Council of Elders awarded the title of Grand Marshal to him, a title he adopted with enthusiasm. Cronin would offer assistance to Gunther Uthwistan during the Whitestone Forces' counterattacks against the Dragon Armies, proving that while the Whitestone Forces were none too thrilled about the prospect of a division of Kender warriors at their side, Kender were more courageous than most. They stood and fought, while others backed down and hid. While hunting in the forest in 352 Alt Cataclius, Cronin and his friend Talorin were captured and charged with poaching in Lord Toda's land. Seeing this as a mistake, as how could anyone own a forest, they resisted, but ultimately were subdued. Lord Tota ordered a deer carcass to be chained to them, and ordered them to run, so that he and his men could hunt them down. Choosing active resistance, as he did in war, Cronin set a trap for Tota by hiding the carcass in a green dragon's cave, so when Lord Tota and his henchmen discovered it, they got a lot more than Cronin and Talorn in the process. The Green Dragon killed Tota, making Cronin a national hero among most Kender. After the War of the Lands, Cronin stayed in the city of Flotsam. To his great surprise, Lord Tota returned from the dead, but this Tota was changed by his experiences. Cronin actually assisted Tota in regaining control of the city from his treacherous insubordinate, and when the dust settled, Tota promoted Cronin to Chief Game Warden of Flotsam. This presents the mindset of a character in Cronin Thistlenaut who doesn't hold grudges and will work with anyone for the betterment of the community he resides in, a trait I wish more of us shared. During the Fifth Age of Kryn in the absence of the gods, great and terrible dragon overlords claimed the continent of Ancelon for their own. The great dragon overlord Malastrix attacked the Kender in Goodland. While Malice was in the village of Wood's Edge, she was amazed to see one Kender in particular who did not go running away from her, screaming in fright. 
Malice is not one to allow dissension in any form, and demands her foes to show respect through fear. So as Cronin stood up to the mightiest force Kryn had seen since the Chaos War, Malastrix became the instrument of Cronin Thistlenaut's demise. Outside Tasselhoff Burfoot, I can't imagine a more influential and impactful Kender. He stood up for peace and justice, excelled at military tactics, and even aided the restoration of a leader who hunted him in a previous life. I think Tasselhoff's father was right when he said, Kender were small because they were meant to do small things. However, all the big things in the world are really small things joined together, and it's the small things that make the difference. I am paraphrasing there, but I think you get the idea. And that is all I have to say about Cronin Thistlenaut, Kender Barbarian. What do you think of the life of Cronin? Do you think he should have helped Toto when he returned from the dead? And finally, if he would have fled from malice, would he still be alive? Leave a comment below. I'd like to take a moment and remind you to subscribe to this YouTube channel, ring the bell to get notified about upcoming videos, and click the like button. This all goes to help other Dragonlance fans learn about this channel and its content. Thank you for watching. This has been Adam with Dragonlance Saga. Until next time, remember, we should be fighting dragons, not each other. <laughs>